Hey everybody, I'm the Pigglesworth, and this is Create Above and Beyond. I've been living out here with these guys for quite some time. I got hurt really bad, and they nursed me back to health. I figured it's time I repaid them the favor. Wait, you didn't... You, you don't know what, how I got hurt and all that stuff? Well... Okay, so we're going to work on helping these guys out. That's a story I'm going to have to tell you at another time. But I've been here in this world for some time. Check it out. We can see. See, I've been on a little bit of exploring. Went ahead and got myself some basic tools and whatnot. And I started to notice something. Let's go here in the house. My little house. Because the sun's getting close to going down. Look at this. We've got all this stuff here now. We've got these, these fancy things up here. This is not a world that I'm used to seeing. This is something different. We check on here. We get quests. We have quests because we have access to a mod pack that I've wanted to play for some time called Create. So we're going to go through this. Now, there's all kinds of stuff that we can do. There's like bulletin boards and there's a market and shipments. We can get like uh, money and we can buy materials and stuff instead of having to find it. But here is all the stuff talking about what we're going to do in this series. This pack is for you. We hope you'll have a good time with it. And if we check that, it gives us a reward. So I get rewards for reading stuff. <laughs> the questing system helps you with the primary customizations of the mod pack, trades, and the progression of tech. Completing quests is not required to progress through the game. No reward. You just read, Peggy. Just learn information. Mod pack description. The sandbox has been turned upside down, so the dirt's all over the place now. Be ready to invent your best create contraptions yet. Or the first, if you're that brave. Yes, it's our first, so we're going to have to be brave. We got something to drink. Um, about 50 inventions lie between you and the moon. We can go to the moon. Awesome. Thousands of components will flow through the ever-growing sequence of your machines, providing the means to explore the next level of technology. Awesome. Your entire factory will be put to the test as final products flow into the data, cen data center. E before this is in England. <laughs> Programming the guidance computer of your spaceship. Awesome. Every step is different. Some may even differ depending on the generation seed of the world. Interesting. Go ahead and take those seeds. Tired of the grind? Fund the operation of a coin provided either from various errands or your chosen professions. Automatically ship produce from your farms or gather other players to aid in your mission. Then you can purchase all manner of resources, artifacts, and building blocks from the market, making your life just a little bit easier. That's awesome. So that means at some point we could do a thing that, that generates stuff to get money. These here are silver coins. And then we can just buy things. We don't have to go out and like dig them up and all that. The bulletin board provides means to earn currency for trading. Here you can complete various errands or buy a profession permit to use in the trading machine. The market that Piggy went to <laughs> gives you options to spend your money on a variety of fun and useful items and gadgets. Shipments are the automated way to exchange coin for resources. Here you can buy import cards for use in the trading machine. And the factory guide provides useful information. Uh-oh. Uh, for the path of technology and automation, all challenges to be overcome have been neatly organized into chapters and tasks. It's entirely optional to follow this guide. Quick, quick. We gotta, we gotta make, get, sir, move. <laughs> May not, there's monsters nearby. Oh no. Um, okay. Let's get our travel bag going. Let's get a run. We got, we got, oh gosh, oh gosh. Run, piggy, run. Run, piggy, run. We gotta get over here and sleep. There we go. What is that I 100%? All the birds are going crazy now. Okay, there we go. You guys can burn. Go ahead and burn up. I don't even know where my house is anywhere. Where do I live? <laughs> burn, burn, burn. There you go. There we go. Here's the house. Close that door. We were almost done with the this here quests. I read that super fast. What's the last one? Here we go. Off you go. Now that you have an idea what is new and what is not, settle in and start your journey. You got it. That was loud. <laughs> Did not expect that. Okay, so uh, factory guide overview. Here we go. This is what's going to start walking us through a bunch of different things that we have to do. Welcome to the overview. You can always come back here to catch up on your current position and the progression of technology. If you look closely, your journey to the moon completes the final step of the way on the right side. Okay, so we, we can submit this. We get apple cider. So now there's two things that we can do. We can do preparations or chapter one. I think we should do preparations. 
Careful before you are ready to embark on the journey of automation, it can help you to set up a basic workshop first. Here are some recommendations for sex successful start. Okay, so these are the different things that we need to do to get these crafting blueprints. And I don't know, shift. Placed on a wall, it can be used to specify ingredient arrangements for easier manual crafting. Each slot represents a recipe. Huh, I wonder if that's a way to like display recipes on a wall so you can see them. But this is what we want to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven things here we want to do. And we're going to need iron. We need this andesite machine, which needs a casing and a kinetic mechanism. That needs a log, a cog wheel, a, a saw, andesite alloy. The cog wheel needs andesite alloy. Let's back up here. Um, that casing needs andesite alloy. Do we need andesite alloy for everything? Iron sheets, lead ingots, iron nuggets. You know what? Okay, so it looks like andesite alloy is going to be a big thing and then iron. Yep. Um. Wait, no. There we go. Yep, it's going to be a lot. Okay, so here's what I want to do. We're going to click this. I'm going to hover over that and hit the letter A. That is going to bookmark that for us. And I'm just going to go... Wait a minute. Oh, no. No, you get out of there. <laughs> The mechanical press, that's what we, what did that say? Kinetic stress impact high. Hold W to ponder. Oh, what is this? Animations. Can process items provided beneath it. Okay. Is that it? How do we get out of this? Oh, oh escape. Okay. All right. So what? here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through and I'm going to bookmark all of these. I'm going to figure out how much iron... And how much of this, what is that, andesite alloy? What is this? Oh, it's andesite or andesite cobblestone and algal brick. Algal brick is made by cooking algal blend. And that is made by finding clay, seagrass, or kelp. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there are some water sources nearby. Oh, yeah. So we can get kelp here. Oh, there's a ship. I need to go check that out. All this river right in here, I bet there's a bunch of clay and gravel and stuff. Do I need gravel? I, I can't remember. Let's check real quick. Do I need gravel? No, not, not the iron piggy. Back up. How do we back up? Hit that. Hit that. Andesite alloy. No, we don't need gravel. But we do need clay. Okay. So I'm going to get to working on gathering up some materials for this so that we can start getting our tasks done to get our preparations done so that we can start doing, hey, get out of there, so we can start doing chapter one, all right? So I'm going to get some material gathering going, and I'll meet you back over here in just a moment. So I've been doing a little material gather. i got some stuff going on. i got these cool bricks cooked. You, you little, <laughs> you, go on, please. You, you can inspect my house. Go on, go check out a village, a library or something. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I got a bunch of different crops and stuff. I got this crushed iron ore. That's, but it says create. So I'm fine iron uh, ore blocks, but when I break it, I get this crushed stuff. Now, when I cook it, where'd I cook it? Oh, okay. So one crushed iron ore is giving me three iron nuggets, and then I have to use iron nuggets to make an iron ingot. That's going to get out of control. I hope there's a better way of doing that. Um, but I also got to looking at the quests. Look. Tinker's Construct. It's been forever since I did something with Tinker's Construct. I got to remember how to play Tinker's Construct, but I'm wondering if maybe we can get a better yield of this crushed iron ore, putting it in the smelter instead of trying to cook it in the uh, the furnace. So we're going to need to get working uh, trying to make that. But let's see here. W where did these bricks go? Where did I put you? There, we'll get these. Okay. I've got some andesite cobble. I went ahead and made myself a little mine shaft right here. Now, there's something terrible that happened down there. I'll show you that in just a minute. <laughs> well, let's see here. We need a bunch of these casings, an andesite machine, uh, several andesite machines and casings to build a lot of this stuff. But one thing that's kind of common throughout all of this stuff are these andesite alloys. So let's see how many of these we can get out of this. That's 22. Okay, so we're going to need a little bit more andesite alloy. 
So, oh, advancement made. Alliterations are plenty. Awesome. Okay, so we got andesite cobblestone. Let's go ahead and grab all that. Oh, what, what was that recipe again? <laughs> Never can remember stuff. Let's look it up. Andesite alloy. There, ahoy, it's alloy. Okay, so we're going to, there we go. Awesome. Now we got plenty of andesite. Oh, oh, let's just erase all this. Okay, the algal. Algal stuff. We can use bulk blasting. I don't even know what that means. Redstone furnace. Algal brick. But, uh, well, we okay, we can do smelting. We've got a furnace. We can do smelting. So, algal brick looks like looks like there's nothing else really other than, like, decorative. Ooh, import algal bricks? Huh, okay. We could do, like, decorative blocks and stuff. So, we're not going to need this algal stuff for anything other than these bricks. Which will be important because we're going to need it for the andesite alloy to make stuff. And we're... Okay, so... Strip dead log, regular... I wonder if it's just like any log. But any log, okay, any log will make that. And then we can... Oh gosh, we're going to need it for this. We're going to need it for cog wheels. <laughs> yeah, I get the feeling we're going to need quite a bit of andesite alloy. We're going to make a, a lot of it. <sighs> All the it, cogwheels here, more andes, more andesite alloy. It's everywhere, and eight, eight of these mechanisms for just one of those. And we're going to need several of those. Seared smelter, mechanical mixer needs an andesite machine. Um, let's see what else. <laughs> okay, that needs an andesite machine, and a bunch of kinetic mechanisms. And each kinetic me mechanism needs cogwheels. And more andesite alloy for that. Mechanical press needs it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we're gonna get those sheets of iron yet. Um, there, that okay, that needs it. That needs it. That doesn't need it, but that needs it. So yeah, we're gonna need uh, quite a bit. Plus these little iron sheets, all those mechanical things. I think we can get started with the cog wheels. I have materials for that. And turn this into planks and turn you planks into buttons and then the buttons go around the andesite alloy stuff and we got the cog wheel awesome we got 16 cog wheels so that'll get us started a little bit um okay oh okay so just a log and that can make the andesite casing so we can at least get the casing going for that um so let's see here is it is it any log I guess. No, not potatoes. Logs. We'll need logs. Where did I put logs? <laughs> All this racket going on outside. Let's go ahead down here for a quick second. And, uh, we'll, we'll get to the other stuff in just a minute. I think I'm going to have to build some of that off camera because I'm going to have to gather up some of that stuff, figure out some things. But I came down here and I was mining a bit and I found some uh, some lead. I got the lead out. And then I dig, dig, dug, I digged, I dug a little bit farther down and look, what do you think this is? Why would I run into wood down here? I bet you can guess. It's a mine shaft. That's right. But there's something special about this mine shaft. I was, I was digging. Can you hear it? Wait, not that sound. That's not the right sound. There's this, okay. There's a spider spawner over there. See it? See all the cobwebs? <laughs> Mr. Sneaky Pants. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now you can hear the spiders. So I found this mine shaft. We got these spiders, the spider spawner down here. I don't know if we're going to need spiders or not, but I figured I would just leave it alone for now and make a, a spider form if we need one. We got a spider spawner, so that'll be awesome. We can have a bunch of string and all kinds of stuff. Um, now we just got to come back here. But I'm going to have to dig around a little bit for, for the uh, lead to, find, to make the lead ingots because we're going to need the lead ingots. To make a couple of the pieces, to just hop up there, here we go, uh, a couple of the pieces to finish off some of these machines. It's still daytime outside, so that's good for all these different things. Um, and then we've got, okay, we got the seared brick. We need glass blocks for that. Um, it's been a while since I did Tinker's Construct. Okay, we need grout. We need gravel, sand, and clay. Okay, that's that's easy enough to get. And then we can make the groot. But then I have to make these golden sheets by pressing it. 
I guess I got to make a press for that. Will it be impressed? I don't know. <laughs> the millstone. Okay, the millstone's easy. That's going to be... Anyway, let's just ponder this. Millstones process items by grinding them. Okay. Do you click on these things to make it speed up? Oh, there we go. They can be powered from the side using cog wheels. Okay. That, that'll be good. Go to the next. No, go to the next. No, don't close. Okay, throw or insert items at the top. Oh, cool. And it'll, like, grind it up for me? Which t tell me. Click on the last part. Well, no, not that. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, what does that do? <gasps> the outputs can also be extracted by automation. Oh, my gosh. So we're going to be able to make, like, machines that do stuff and grab things and, and manufacture things for us. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is going to be cool. Okay, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off screen. I'm going to get all the stuff I need for this. Start uh, assembling what I can. And then once I think I got everything figured out and gathered, I'm going to bring you back and start uh, start explaining stuff. Even better. Okay, so I'm down here. I got past the spiders. I kind of blocked them off and kept digging down and broke into this open area. And something crazy happened. I think I'm safe from that. I put a little wall there before I started started filming. So look at this. Broken stone. If I step on it, it breaks. <laughs> I had no idea. And I stepped on top and fell down in there and found something really cool. Now right in here, okay, I think I got that safe. We got nickel, cinnabar, certus quartz, a bunch of iron. Do I find what I'm looking for down here? I think so. Okay, this. Lead ore. This is something that I really, really need. But look at the symbol. It's showing an iron pick. That's not... I thought that was diamond, but that's that's appetite. But we got some lead ore. That's good. Because we're going to need that to make uh, one of the items. Um, some kind of saw blade or something. Um, but check this out. This is crazy. Okay, let me be very careful here. <laughs> I fell down. I just started falling. I thought, oh great, here I go. I'm going to die. But I managed not to die. I fell into this room. Look. It's some kind of structure or something down here. We got a fluid pipe. Look, we've got chisel in this mod pack. I had no idea. There's these treasure pots. Can I break them? Ooh, it gave me stuff. What are you, what's in, what's in there? A jungle sapling. Awesome. Okay, let's see here. Is there anything else? There's some kind of fluid right there. I don't know if I should trust it. Raw pasta. Okay. Um, Let's do this. Let's do that. What did that give me? Ooh, a cogwheel. Awesome. Okay, let's... Uh, hmm. <laughs> let's be cautious about this. It just... It's not... Oh, no. Okay. Woo! Okay, well, whatever that is, I don't know, but okay. <laughs> oh, there's some chains. There's just all kinds of crazy stuff down here. I love the sound. Ooh, small treasure quartz pot. What did that give me? <gasps> Five silver coins. Awesome. We're supposed to be able to use silver co Oh, Oh, here we go. Is this more money? More money? Oh, oh, a golden apple and two emeralds. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. I've almost gathered everything. Really what I've got to do now is find some gold. I need to go ahead and start seeing if there's a... Uh, I'm probably just have to bite the bullet, get a whole bunch of iron ore, make some iron ingots. We're going to have to figure out how to make a more efficient way of doing iron, but I think for now I'm just kind of stuck doing iron the way it is. Um, but I'm going to get my iron. I'm going to get that, that lead ore. I'm going to get the lead out. <laughs> and I'll meet you back up at the surface. And we should have everything that we need to start building all of our items. Oh, there I go, falling down again. So I decided to come back down here because there's one other thing I wanted to show you before we get started. There's something down here special. Look. There actually is diamond, and I've got myself an iron pickaxe now. So let's do this. Let's get ourselves our first diamonds. Nice. Ooh, that's a good haul. 
Time to get some enchanting going. Although, I think this mod pack does have the Tinker's Construct. And if it has that, diamonds not, might not be as useful as I thought. I can't remember. It's been forever since we've done Tinker's Construct. <laughs> but let's go ahead and go back up here to the surface. I've done a bunch of material gathering. Went ahead and did all the boring stuff like creating those uh, ingots where you have to put kelp with clay. And then you have to cook it. And then you have to add it to... Uh, what was it? Andesite? And so it gives you those andesite ingot thingies. And I went ahead and built somewhere special. We don't have to build in there anymore. Look what we've got. Got myself a little workshop. I love it. Now, also when exploring, zoom out for a little bit, just ran around and I found a couple more villages and stuff. Some interesting things. We'll check out those later on. Maybe these are different uh, centers that we can start trading with or, or something like that. But I did run into some spruce, so I went ahead and started growing spruce trees. So we have birch, spruce, and oak. And I think I have... You! What you doing? <laughs> I got me... Yes, you. I got me a jungle sapling in there as well. I need to get that growing. I'll do that later. But we've got our little workshop here. And if Mr... Mr. Blockhead, could you please go that way? Yes. Okay, you guard me. You make sure no no bad guys sneak up on me. This is cool. These little signs. I can just put stuff up there. So now we got a saw, which is awesome. So now I think we could pretty much get to starting to working with all of this. I think I got everything. I'll tell you what. Trying to get iron and gold? That's ridiculous. That's crazy. Now let's get ourselves an empty hand. We don't want to place anything by accident that, that we're going to waste when we have to break it. Oh, I get... Okay, he's watching trees grow. I don't know where. Okay, he wandered off. All right, so let's see here. So let's go ahead and look. The first thing we want to build is a millstone. Uh, we need some kind of a block and some kind of wood plank. I've got a wood plank. I've got a block. Why is it not letting me? Is it the wrong kind? Recipe is too large to craft. Okay, can we do it now? Missing an item. You know what? Let's go ahead and do this. I think it's missing an item because you have to wait for it to cycle through. Oh, no. And my mind is going to shut down. And I'm going to have to try and remember these here recipes. That's not letting me do that. What? Polished. Oh, you have to have something called scoria or dark stone, limestone, andesite, diorite. I, I have I have granite. I do. Watch out, sir. Watch that area for me. Well, oh wait, I have I have granite cobblestone. Can you turn it into? No. Can you cook it? Will it cook? <gasps> now we're cooking with gas. Look at that. There we go. All right, so we're going to get ourselves a millstone. We will not hang it around our neck. <laughs> there we go. Got ourselves some granite. Awesome. Let's run back over here. You know, what? I'm going to go ahead and lay down in bed because we might end up with uh, with nightfall here. Okay, it is noon, so we're doing good so far. So let's go back here. Millstone. Okay, awesome. We got ourselves a millstone. Uh, where do we put this? I, I created a workshop for building things, but I don't have space to put things. Let's put it right here. We'll put you there. Pocket crusher. Okay. Uh, so I can hit A to remove that. Okay, awesome. So we got that removed. A seared smelter okay we can make the tank thank you very much we'll make the seared smelter and i'm gonna have to uh, um remember how to use tinker's construct or is that what that goes to yeah yeah now i did notice that there are a whole bunch of uh books and stuff that we can get going so so let's see here the whisk oh these iron sheets that's what i'm not quite certain about the andesite machine we can do the casings. How many casings did I say I needed? I think it was four. Oh, we get two for that. It's a twofer. Let's do two more. Two more, please. Thank you very much. Okay, we can remove you. Okay. We need... We're going to do four of these. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need 32 of these. Oh, no. Can we... Oh, it uses it up. It says it's not consumed in the assembly process, but it just took damage. Wait a minute. Now, how? 
I have a saw. I do. The Andesite Age. What? What is that? What's that, uh, what's that achievement? Use some Andesite alloy and wood to create a basic casing. Okay. Let's see here. What was the recipe for you? Okay, so let's do this. Let's just dump a bunch of stuff in there. There we go. I said I needed 32 of them, right? I need 31 now because we made one. So let's use that as our control. Okay, good. It didn't completely destroy the saw, but we have 32 of those now. And uh, andesite machine. Now we can make four of those. Awesome. So we'll remove you. So we've got that. We need a whisk. An encased fan. We need a propeller. These iron sheets again. A mechanical saw. Needs a saw blade. More iron sheets and nuggets. Uh-oh. I think I have enough for nuggets. That needs that. Okay, we can make that. Uh, let's see here. So, mechanical press. Why is it not... Why is it not working here? We have an andesite machine plus a block of iron. Oh, in a smithing table. I need a smithing table. How do you make a smithing table? It's been ages since I made a smithing table. I bet it needs iron. It needs two pieces of iron and four planks. Okay, let's check our... our I thought I had everything figured out. Apparently I didn't. That's the way things roll around here. Okay, let's just grab all the iron. Just in case. Come back over here. Run, run, run. We gotta hurry before the sun goes down. When the sun goes down and Piggy's got stuff. Hey, hey, hurry and build. There we go. Smithing table. Now where's the smithing table gonna go? Uh, we got you in the ground. Let's put let's put you right there. There we go. So now we got a smithing table. Um a mechanical press. Awesome. Now we've got a mechanical press. We'll put boop, you right you right there. Okay. Um Okay, so we got the press, we got the andesite machine, andesite machine, andesite machine. We need to be able to press a bunch of stuff. I think that's what that press is going to be for. And then golden sheets. Okay, so how do you use a press? We'll press the button. Let's do this. Let's go inside the house. I think we could watch one of those little animations. We could ponder. Um, no, not Smith. Not Mr. Smith. So we go press... W to ponder. Oh, no, no, no. Not press wah, 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 wah. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's hit that. Now let's ponder. Processing item with a mechanical press. Mechanical press can process items provided beneath it. Well, what's this thingy? Now, okay, so if we click here. Next scene. Go, there we go. When items are provided on a belt, yeah, the press will hold and process them automatically. Okay, we've got cogwheels moving it, but how are we going to get this stuff to move? We haven't seen anything about a uh, an energy source or anything. Let's go ahead and make it day. It is nighttime. Look, the sun's going down. Okay. <gasps> no, this is my bed. You. <laughs> I don't understand that. They're allowed to go down and go to sleep before me. It's not fair, I tell you. Not not snot. It 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 is not fair. There. Okay. So, um let's go to quests. No, not metallurgy. Overview. Here we go. So, see we've almost got all the preparations done, but let's go ahead and do this. Let's look at chapter 1. Maybe it's going to tell us something. The earliest inventions reveal one's resourcefulness. Should be an apostrophe right there for uh, showing that your ownership. With low-level equipment, auto-crafting none, filtering not cheap, item transport, may the belt spaghetti mesh in your favor. After hitting the check mark above, the first chapter of the factory guide will become accessible from the quest sidebar. There we go. So now we start chapter one. Now we can see. Here we go. High aspirations. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff here. Chapter 1, Start. Welcome to the Factory Guide. These quests are an automation plan for your upcoming assembly line. Always view them as recommendations on what you should construct a passive supply for. The flow graph depicts the connections between relevant recipes and processing. Happy engineering. Well, thank you, thank you. So there's suggestions. 
Speed run. What's this do? Aww. The rigid flow graph of this guide may suggest that items aren't accessible until they've been automated. Aww. Be reassured that you always have access to tools from later ages, such as filtering, Aww. though not without a bit of manual effort. Okay, so if we see something we like, even if it may be hard to, to acquire, we can still acquire it. It's not locked. Automatic force, contraption one. Building material, fuel and, and, and ingredient. A passive supply of timber would be a good first effort. Mechanical saws are a powerful way to achieve this. I think we built a saw. So what's this say? Log stripper contraption. Upwards facing mechanical saws can process the harvested logs further can i go further no rewards how could and further it won't let me click it that's weird bedrock bounty gathering andesite manually takes time no kidding thankfully bedrock can cause lava to form andesite infinitely Ooh! so i have to dig down to bedrock and can make an andesite form okay at this part at this time, it is best to set up drills to break generated blocks between lava and water. Since bedrock is blocking the space beneath, you'll have to find a way to collect the drops from other sides. Okay. A good way to automate sand at this moment is to build strainers. Okay. This is telling us all this stuff, but kelp is a vital ingredient to our first assembly line target, andesite alloy. Kelp can be gathered automatically with mechanical harvesters. Okay, so it's telling me stuff to build, but nothing's telling me how to, to get energy to make these things work. So let's do this. Let's investigate at uh, create. See, here's a bunch of books. We're going to have to go through and make, I'll do that off camera, but I'm going to make a whole bunch of books so we can figure out Clutches, gear shifts, a water wheel? Okay. What are you? Hand crank. W. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think I have to click on it, then ponder it, right? Okay, ponder. What do you do? Generating rotational force using hand cranks. Hand cranks can be used by players to apply rotational force manually. What's the next thing? Tell me. Hold right click to rotate it counterclockwise. Sneak and hold right click to rotate clockwise. Wonder if direction matters. Okay, so let's see here. So how did you make the hand crank? Where'd it go? Okay, hit A. Let's put that over here. Oh, nope. I'm going to hit every button but the right one. What do we need? A shaft andesite alloy and planks. How do you make that? Two andesite alloy. Okay. We've got andesite alloy pretty decent amount right now. So let's do that. Let's do that. Um, and I think, do we have enough? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so we have a crank. Don't get cranky. So are you, it showed the press in the air. So if we put a block here, so we've got it up in the air and we put you there. Can we just like throw down something like that and then can you crank it do you just right click oh there we go oh look oh my gosh it worked <laughs> okay so we needed uh one two three will it do it in one press why is it not working maybe you have to get it precisely underneath Okay, one hit. A one hit wonder. Oh, you have to do it once for each time. Okay, so two more. There, did we get... Okay, awesome, we got that. So let's build the wrench. Awesome, we've got a wrench. We got a new tool. Task completed, wrench. Okay, get you out of there. So we need uh, for this, one, two, three, four, five. For you, we need six, seven, eight, nine. And then for you, we need 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, give me just a second. Let me get these uh, converted. We'll need 12, actually, 12. So give me just a second, and we'll get these converted into, uh, into sheets. There we go. And here's what's crazy. Look at my hunger bar. Now I know why you don't want a hand crank. <laughs> 
makes you hungry doing all that work. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's go back to the mechanical mixer. Let's make a whisk. There we go. And make a mixer. Oh, there we go with that smithing table again. Okay, so let's see if we can make all these first, and then we'll do our smith table stuff. So we got that. We need a saw blade. Oh, we need we need four ingots. Okay. I didn't want to do it, but you made me do it. Okay. Now what? Oh, okay. Temperamental, I tell you. <laughs> get a saw blade. Now, I get the feeling everything else has to be built here, right? Yep. Smith and table. Mr. Weston's smith and table. Okay, there we go. Get that. An encased fan. Just in case. Awesome. We did it. We got everything. Do we get the quest? There we go. There we go. Blueprints. Okay, close, please. Now, what's next? Andesite machinery. Oh, we're working on chapter one. That's right. Lifesavers? Like candy? What are these? Big plans. These blueprints can be given one or more crafting recipes, which they then apply to your held items whenever you right-click them. The quickest and most efficient way to assign recipes is to locate the recipe in JEI while the blueprint UI is open. Clicking the plus in the JEI recipe view will transfer the recipe ingredients to the blueprint for you. And we get a painting. I wonder if it consumes the blueprints. Let's see. So it said... Go back here. Hold... No. Don't do A. You get out of there. Hold shift for summary. Placed on a wall, it can be used to specify ingredient arrangements for easy manual crafting. Each slot represents a recipe. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> that thing's big. Okay, we can pick it back up, too. Now, how did it say to, to add uh, to it? L assign recipes, locate the recipe in JEI while the blueprint UI is open. Clicking plus. So how do you get the, the UI open? Let's do this. We'll put you here. Maybe if I do that and then right click on that. Will that? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see here. Let's say we want to make... Uh, I'm just going to pick something. So we hit A. No, that doesn't add it. Oh, plus. It said plus, didn't it? Okay. Plus. No, that doesn't work plus oh wait maybe let's click it plus there we go that made it work awesome and look when i'm looking at it it shows me the recipe now did it say it would auto craft for me from there or is it just reminding me how to do stuff which thing apply to your held items whenever you oh so if i've got this material and i right click that it will create awesome now does this, okay, it lost it. It went back. So if I place this back on the wall, okay, it's a blank again. So we, we want to set that up somewhere and then leave it. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> this is awesome though. Oh my gosh, it's already nighttime again. I'm just going to run my mouth real quick and then go back to sleep, okay? So yeah, this is cool. We're figuring out all kinds of stuff. We'll put you right there. We got a wrench. And a holding place for it. We got some cool machines going. We got some cool uh, features going. This is going to be cool. We're going to build factories and all kinds of stuff. We're going to turn this this little bumpkin town into a bustling industry, I tell you. I'm going to pay these fellas back for taking care of me so well. But if you enjoyed this episode, you want to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed what you saw here, make sure to click that like button. Maybe even put something down in the comment section. Hey, Piggy, here's how you do such and such or you're doing just a great job. Keep going, buddy. But I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep so that this place doesn't get creeper bombed. Figure out getting those books made so that I can get ready for next episode. And that's what I hope to see you is in the next episode of Create Above and Beyond.